and just take a moment here to check on the body just to see where you are physically so start at the head move from the head to the toes just stand through the body and just notice if there are any parts of the body you want to go easy on and if there are make sure that you let that part of the body guide you through the practice adjust for it as you need And on our next inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Hello, not yet, welcome. And on an exhale, hands can come down to the heart. And let's just go with the breath. How are you today? Good, on our next inhale, let's take just one arm up. We'll stretch through the side of the body. We'll exhale that arm down. We'll inhale the other. Oh, and just continuing to switch side to side. Board. Oh no! <laughs> Let's find one more on both sides. Ooh. Nice. And then after that one, let's put them circles on the hips. So placing hands on thighs, we're going to hinge forward as far as feels comfortable. We'll start to inhale as we go to the side, we'll come up to center, and exhale as we go down to the other side, and back forward to center. And just going with the breath. Oh. Oh, I always like this. Seems like such a simple thing, but it kind of like makes my brain go, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, let's go the opposite direction. Let's just roll one shoulder back. This is my favorite holiday song. Okay, let's release this shoulder down, switch it to the other. Oh, let's release this shoulder. On exhale, let's let one ear drop towards the same shoulder. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the other side. And just continuing side to side. one more on both sides. We'll meet back at center. Good. Let's go ahead and swing feet around. Let's come to all fours. And if you would like to, you can always add cushion under the knees. I have this little like meditation pad thing that I use. You can use anything. You can use a blanket, curl up the mat a little bit. Whatever you have will work as long as it gives you stability. Uh, find ankles and knees in line with hip sockets, and we're going to flow through cat pal, starting with cat on the exhale, rounding through the spine. 
we'll inhale, cow, curving through the spine. Good, and just continuing with the breath, always moving from the tailbone to the head. Hey, I just created a professional Wix site for my business. Let's check it out. Go to Wix.com. What is talking? Beautiful templates. Choose one that fits your business the best. Weird. Hi, Nico. Oh, hi, sweetheart. You're a good girl. All right, let's find one more through both. Hey, bug. <laughs> no loading lately. Come back to your neutral spine. We're going to switch to a twist. So for this, we're gonna bring the right hand and the back of the head. On an inhale, we'll take the elbow up towards the sky. Exhale, then drop the elbow down to the front of the left forearm. We'll inhale back up and just continue with the breath. Don't eat my computer, Zuko. Find one more. And then we'll switch sides. Pet the cat. <laughs> then switch sides. Okay, same thing on the other side. Find one more, and then we'll come back to all fours, and let's come back to, oops, sorry, Nico, let's come back to child's pose. We'll sit back on our heels, forehead to the mat, taking a moment here. And you could rock side to side massage the hips if you'd like. All right, next inhale, let's move through some push-ups. We're gonna come forward to kneeling plank. Shoulders stack over wrists, hips past knees. Shift the body weight forward a little bit more. Exhale, bend elbows to kneeling crocodile. Inhale, push back to kneeling plank, and exhale, child pose. And so again, inhale, kneeling plank. Shift forward, bend the elbows. Keep elbows hugged in by your ribs. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, child pose. Okay, let's do a few more of those. You can always go at your own pace. Don't feel like you have to go at mine. to down dog, so curl toes under, lift the tailbone to the highest point, and we'll alternate heel press, oh, how low, tight calves, wow, so we're pressing down on one heel, bending the other knee, switching back and forth, just going with the breath. to the top of the mat into forward fold. Woo. On an inhale, we'll reverse swan dive. Bend knees, hinge on the hips, sweeping arms all the way up. Now let's close your chair a few times, so exhale, sit back, weight into heels and hips, arms sweep forward. We'll inhale back up. Woo. I cut off my head, huh? And just go in with the breath. At your own pace. Mm. 
find one more. Oh, the next exhale. Let's swan dive. So bend knees, hinge from the hips. We're gonna move to a sun salutation. On an inhale, lift halfway to monkey. Hands on the mat or shins. Of course, you're just coming about halfway up. Exhale, step back to child's pose. Or if you know the full version and want to do that now, feel free. Otherwise, follow me through this kneeling version. So we'll inhale forward to kneeling plank, just like earlier. Shift forward. Exhale, kneeling crocodile. Shift forward. Release hips and belly to the mat. Just use the core to lift the shoulders into low cobra. Hands mostly rest. Exhale, leave the hips. Keep the back flat as we come back to child pose. So we're going to step the tops of our mats forward fold. On the inhale, we'll reverse swan dive. And we're going to exhale chair. Good. Inhaling back up. Exhale, swan diving down. Inhale, monkey, lift halfway. Exhale, option for down dog or child pose. The down dog's the full version. Feel free to do the previous. So we'll inhale forward to plank. That can be on or off the knees. For a full, shift forward onto the toes. Exhale, crocodile, on or off the knees. Inhale, pull the belly button through, flip over the feet for up dog or low cobra. And exhale, come back over the toes to down dog or child pose. Then we can hop, step, or walk to the top of the mat, forward fold. And on the inhale, we'll reverse swan back. We'll exhale, chair. Goes to one more. Inhaling back up. Exhale, swan diving down. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, down dog or child pose. Your choice. Inhale to a plank. Shift forward. Exhale to a crocodile. Shift forward. Inhale, up dog or low cobra. Whew. Exhale back to down dog or child pose. And we can hop, step, or walk. Top the mat, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, chair. Let's inhale back up. Oh my goodness. Exhale, swan dive. Tiny. And let's step back to down dog. Let's hold the pose. Oh, we'll take a moment. Breathe into the legs, the back. Oh my God, that feels good on my legs. Ooh. All right, on and inhale, we're gonna sweep the right leg straight up and back. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest, lift. Step all the way through to a lunge. Readjust the back foot for warrior one. So we're turning it about a 45 degree angle, foot is flat. Front right knee is bent. We're going to hinge on the hips. We're going to come up. Hopefully you guys can see me. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> Once here, we're, I'm going to turn this way so you can see this. Once here, we're going to take the right first finger, mi mi middle finger or th and thumb. Oh my goodness. These three fingers. <laughs> we're going to wrap it around this left wrist. And we're going to reach the left arm to the sky and gently over to the right. So we're adding a stretch here through the left side. Right, and just holding here, pressing down into both feet. Keep the hips turning forward. There's a bit of a twist in the hips in this pose. We'll come back to the mat. Next, exhale, let's come back to center. Release arms down to shoulder height. And we're going to turn hips open for warrior two. So hips face the long edge of the mat. The back left foot is about parallel to the short edge of the mat. Feet are in line. Right knee is bent. Let's bring arms up to shoulder height. Palms face the floor. And we're gazing over the right fingertips. And just find some deep breaths. You can also hold cactus arms, hands on hips or at the heart if you're protecting shoulders. And in fact, I'm going to do hands on hips because my arms are wearing out real fast today. Right in here. All right, next exhale, we're gonna pinwheel to the mat. So back hand over the head, peel the back heel off the mat, come down to a lunge, and let's step back to down dog. Ooh, take a moment here. Oh man, my calves are tired. Hey, hi, BSB Care. Thank you. Oh, she hasn't yet. All right, let's actually inhale to plank. Thank you. You've been upgraded again. 
you continue to be upgraded. Woo! Eh. Eh. Thanks for the emote. <laughs> Good. Next exhale. Come back. To down dog. Next inhale. Sweep the left leg straight up and back. Exhale. Draw the knee to the chest. Lift step through to a lunge. Find warrior one. So readjust the back foot. It's about a 45 degree angle. Front knee is bent. We'll hinge. We'll come up. <sighs> Here we go. Wow. Six months. That's crazy. That's crazy. We've had to adjust it a little bit for Zuko. <laughs> like, because it's a fake tree, we can curl these up so that she can't quite pull them down as much. That's worked. Uh, okay, let's take the first finger or middle finger and thumb of this left hand around the right wrist, reach the right arm to the sky, and gently over to the left. Holding here. Whew. What is this? A piece of a cookie. Oh my goodness. Next exhale, let's come back to center. Release arms. Turn hips open for warrior two. Readjust the back foot. So it's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. Left knee, left toes, stay pointed forward. Left knee is bent. We're gazing over the left fingertips. Again, cactus arms, hips, or heart if you want. I'm gonna do heart. My arms do need a break today. You're a YouTuber. You're probably using this. What is and talking? Is that an ad? Start using this. Jordan? That is not supposed to be happening. Anger. Oh, okay. Next exhale. Let's pin wheel to the mat. Back hand over the head. Peel the back heel off the mat. Come down to a lunge. Go ahead and step back to down dog. Take another moment. Ah, oh, yeah. Breathe into those very tight calves. I just didn't type mine are tight. I'm just yelling at my phone. Vinyasa. Inhale forward to fuller kneeling plank. Shift forward, exhale fuller kneeling crocodile. Shift forward, inhale up dog or low cobra. And exhale back to down dog or child's pose. All right, let's sweep the right leg. I'm going to turn this way. The right leg straight up and back. Let's hold here for just a few deep breaths, breathing into that left leg. Oh, hello, left leg. Next exhale, let's draw the knee into the chest and lift. Let's step back through to our lunge. Let's readjust the back foot for <clears throat> warrior one once again. So again, that's about 45 degree angle. Front right knee is bent. Hey, thank you for following, dear Los Muertos. Welcome. <clears throat> so we're going to come all the way up. And this time, we're going to find chest expansion. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have a producer today, kind of. Producer, he'd, he'd do other things, but occasionally fix ads for me. <laughs> All right, so we're clasping hands, or you can hold an imaginary beach ball, or you can even hold an object between those hands. shoulders. All right, we're going to make this a waterfall warrior. So keeping the chest expansion, we're going to lead with the heart, hinging from the hips, and we can rest ribs on the right thigh a little bit inside the leg. Your chest expansion can go to the sky or behind you. Keep the front knee bent with the head and neck release a bit. Oh boy, next exhale, let's release hands down towards the hips. And then we can readjust back to it. lunge. Oh, hello. Let's make this a kneeling lunge. Oh, I need cushion for that. Okay, kneeling lunge. And we're going to make it a twisting lunge. I'm going to grab a block. You do not have to have one of these. I'm just doing it. Oh, break up thigh. Okay, so we want this left wrist directly underneath the left shoulder and in line with this right foot. Hand can be on something like this to lift up if you need. It can also just be on the mat. Right hand's going to go to the right thigh. We're going to find a long spine. 
when you're ready, belly's gonna go first towards that right thigh. Head last and sweep the right arm up or keep it on the hip. Holding here. You can also pick up this back knee and make it a runner's lunge if you prefer. It's really up to you. <sighs> All right, next exhale, let's come back to center. Hi, Diana Moon, thank you for the host. Good, once here, let's step back to down dog. Oh, hi. Man, my body is tired today. Take a few moments here. Oh. Let's knee the heel forward to a plank. Let's hold the plank. Full or kneeling, your choice. Next exhale, come back to down dog. Let's inhale the left leg straight up and back. Three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Lift. Step through to that lunge. Let's readjust the back foot for warrior one. So again, it's turning that 45 degree angle. Front knee is bent. Come up. Let's find chest extension. Clasp the other hand on top this time. If you're interlacing, you can also hold an imaginary beach ball or an object between the hands. Ooh, take a moment here. Front knee is bent. Hips are turning inward. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, let's make a waterfall warrior. Lead with the heart. Hinge from the hips. You can rest the ribs on that left leg or a touch inside. Arms can go to the sky or stay pointed behind you. Let the head and neck release a little bit. The next exhale to release hands towards the hips. We'll drop them all the way down. What is this? Get up. And then we will readjust the back foot for a lunge. I'm gonna make it a kneeling lunge here. We're gonna find our twisting lunge on this side. So again, right wrist directly underneath the right shoulder, right wrist in line with the left foot. Hand can be on the mat or on something else, as long as it's stable. Left hand to the left thigh, long spine before you twist, and when you're ready, belly's gonna go first to the left, head last, and sweep this left arm up or keep it on the hip. And again, you can pick up the back knee, make it a runner's lunge if you want. It's a little more intense. It's up to you. <clears throat> cough, 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 cough. Oh my goodness, hip flexors are tight. <laughs> Hi everybody, if you're just joining us, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good, next exhale, let's turn back to center. And let's go ahead and step back oh, to down dog. Oh, hello down dog, take a moment here. Let's move through a vinyasa. On an inhale, we'll come forward to fuller kneeling plank. Yeah, Christmas yoga. Shift forward, exhale, fuller kneeling crocodile. Shift forward, inhale, up dog or low cobra. Exhale, back to down dog or child's pose. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? I just realized. Actually, that was on the left. Okay. I remember something we need to do because we skipped it. We'll do it in a second. So let's inhale the right leg straight up and back. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest. We're gonna lift, we're gonna step through to a lunge. This time we're gonna find warrior two again. So we're gonna adjust the back foot so it's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. Right knee is bent. I'm gonna pinwheel up. So we're gonna go left arm and then the right. Warrior two. Good, then you can take a moment to readjust as you need. We're gonna flow through this. This is an archer arm. We're gonna bring the back arm up. Inhale, we're gonna pull a bow. Exhale, the arm comes up, inhale, pull. Good, we're gonna add the front leg. Inhale, straighten out the leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Good, and just go with the breath. Hmm. 
All right, next time we come to this archer arm, we're actually gonna hold it with the knee bent. So this left hand is staying at the left shoulder, holding here, oh man, shoulders are saying, no, no, no. Oh, hope you guys are doing better than I am, boy. All right, let's extend this left arm back out. Actually, we're going to pinwheel back to the mat. So peel that back heel off the mat. Come all the way down to the lunge. Oh, hello, lunge. Let's step back to down dog. Take a moment. Oh, boy, let's get go forward to plank. Ho, oh, plank, fuller kneeling. Your choice. Next exhale, come back to down dog. We're gonna switch sides, so I'm gonna walk over here so that I'm facing you. Okay, in here, we're gonna sweep the left leg up. We're gonna hold here, because we didn't hold it on this side before. Oh, gotta be even, you guys. Next exhale, draw the knee into the chest, lift. Step through to a lunge. Readjust the back foot for a warrior two foot, so it's about parallel to the short edge of the mat. Left knee is bent, we'll pinwheel. Right arm, and then the left. Oh, arms. Oh boy, arms, arms, arms. <laughs> All right, let's flow through our archer arms. So bring this back arm up. Inhale, pull bow. Good, and then we're gonna add the front leg. So we're gonna straighten the leg out. And exhale, bend the knee. Go at your own pace. The next time we come back to this archer arm, let's stay here. Hold. You guys stay. Can I get my arms? Mo. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna have sore arms, apparently. And I still have to teach another yoga class today. All right, next. Exhale, spin wheel to the mat. Oh, wow. Oh, back under the head, peel the back heel off the mat. Come down to that lunge. Step back to down dog. Take a moment here. All right, let's move through vinyasa. Inhale. Full kneeling plank, shift forward, exhale, full kneeling crocodile, shift forward, inhaling up dog or little cobra, and exhale back to down dog or child pose. And from here, let's walk to the top of the mat, forward fold. Uh, on the inhale, to reverse lumbar. We're gonna exhale, hands to the heart. We're gonna switch to a standing quad stretch. So let's bring weight and balance to the left foot. We're gonna bend the right knee, taking the foot towards the glute, reach back to the right hand to the right ankle, left hand to the hip, out to the side or to the sky. Flex the foot so toes point towards the mat, it's gonna help protect the knee. And we want all the joints to stay aligned, so knee, ankle, and hip. You can also do this uh, holding on to something, wall, chair, if you want. So find those deep breaths. Oh man, let's find one more deep breath. On the exhale, let's release that leg. Shake them out if you would like. Now let's switch sides. Weight and balance to the right foot, bend the left knee, reach back to the left hand to the left ankle. You could also hook something around the ankle and hold on to that. That's also an option. Flex the foot, keep the joints in line. Right hand to the hip, out to the side or to the sky. Oh, press ankle into hand as if we're trying to press the foot away from the body. 
<laughs> you can't even see my face. Hi, I'm right here. <laughs> Silly bar. Find one more deep breath. On the exhale, let's release that leg. Oh, shake them out if you want. All right, let's inhale both arms up. We'll swan dive down to forward fold. Take a moment here and you can shake, nod the head, go cross the arms or wrap them around the leg. I'm going to sweep that up to the sky as high as feels comfortable. Exhale, sweep it underneath the right arm, drop head and shoulder to the mat, keeping space between them. This right arm could rest right in front of you on the mat. It could extend over the head of the mat. You sweep behind the back for a half arm. So it's your choice. So breathe into the shoulder and twist. So bring this right hand right in front of you, inhale as you come up. When you're ready on an inhale, next inhale, sweep the right arm up, exhale, sweep that arm underneath the left, drop head and shoulder to the mat. Take a few deep breaths here. Next, and then we'll use that left hand to come back to all fours. And now let's come back to child pose. We'll sit back on your heels, forehead to the mat. And with this child pose, let's find a prayer position overhead. So bring hands together, bend at the elbows, so fingertips point towards the sky. And small holes here. Next inhale, let's come back to all fours. I'm going to try to stay knee. We're going to sink hips to one side and swing legs around the seated scap. And we'll find a hamstring stretch. So sit nice and tall on these sits bones or these butt bones. If you feel like you're falling backwards, back is rounding, elevate the hips. Sit on anything you need to as high as you need to. You can also bend the knees and place something on the knees if you like. Find feet flex, find a nice long spine, and when you're ready, on an exhale, hinge forward, walk your hands down the legs, stop when the spine begins to round. Hi, Owen. Good evening. Woo, dinner. I like food. <laughs> How are you this evening?
Work is over. Oh wow, nice Owen. Let's find two more deep breaths here. A second I feel can just come back up. Oh, let's bend knees. Place feet flat. We're gonna move to our backs. Let's place both hands behind one leg and let's come all the way back to the mat. We're gonna switch to bridge. Oh, these odds! Anger! All right, so find ankles and knees in line with hips. Suck it. Gaze to the sky, hands beside the hips. On an inhale, we will lift the hips up as high as feels comfortable. Hold here. Squeeze the inner thighs, keep knees in line with hip sockets. Find those deep breaths. Find one more deep breath. On the exhale, to roll back to mat one vertebra at a time. Oh, that feels good. <clears throat> Let's come into knees to chest. We'll let the back release a bit. Oh, hands are behind the knee joint on the thigh. You can rock side to side or you can just hold the pose. switch to happy baby so we'll take the soles of the feet to the sky let the knees fall open you can do a yoga toe hold first two fingers around the big toe thumb cats off the top of the toe you can hold on behind the knee joint on the thigh you can hold on to the foot just be gentle with the tiny bones in the feet you can still rock side to side if you'd like or you can just hold the pose it's up to you All right, next exhale, let's go ahead and release. Whew, okay, we're gonna switch to upside down pigeon. So draw the right leg up. <clears throat> Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. We're looking for the stretch in the right outer hip and glute. So if you're feeling it here, feel free to stay. If you don't feel it, then draw the left knee up, clasp hands behind the left thigh and hold here. Find those deep breaths. Whew, this is tight. Find one more deep breath. The exhale, let's drop the left foot back down to keep the legs crossed. Take arms to a T out from the shoulders. We're gonna let both legs fall to the left into a twist, or you can turn your gaze to the right.
and next exhale let's come back to center and we'll switch sides to so draw the left leg up cross the left ankle over the right thigh and we'll find upside down pigeon so again you can stay here or you can draw the right knee in towards the chest and clasp hands behind that right thigh hmm but just breathe into the stretch Find one more deep breath. The exhale, let's drop the right foot back down. Take arms to tee out from our shoulders. We're gonna let both legs fall to the right into a twist. Turn your gaze to the left. having problems as in my me watching this stream and not you guys. Hmm. And next exhale, let's come back to center. And we're gonna switch to final relaxation here. So go ahead and find a comfortable Lay flat however you would like. <sighs> and turn your attention back to the breath. And just know that it's not about finding a perfect place. It's just about being present with what is. And to do that, the mind needs something to focus on, so let it focus on your surrounding. Noticing what you hear, noticing what you feel. And if you catch the mind wandering, once you notice, just bring it back to the present.
Alright, let's start to wiggle fingers and toes. Let's add wrists and ankles, rotating them around. Let's stretch arms over our heads, we'll reach through the body. Let's roll onto one side, and we'll use our hands to come up to a seated position. Oh my goodness, Simi David, oh no! <laughs> Hello there, welcome. Ah, once here, let's sweep both arms up. Let's exhale hands to the heart. Take just a moment to check in here after the practice. And thank you all for joining me this morning. Namaste. And happy holiday.